So what's up you guys? I just got home and there was a parcel at the door and I picked it up. Um, I know what it is. It's a lounge fly. So we're going to go through that. Um, but before we do, I figured, okay, I'm going to open the lounge fly and let me go ahead and at the same time do these pins that's been sitting around the living room because I kind of have a lot. To... These are nothing but pins and look how many I got. One. I have two, three, four, five six packages of pins to open. Not only that, um, before we get into that, um, I have a couple things that I need to do today. So I gotta take my babies to be groomed. Um, also, hubby and I have a date. We're going out for um, brunch this morning. But before we do that, today's my little Wheezy. It's her birthday and she is turning five. So we're gonna take her also to the pet store and let her pick out a little something. Um, maybe a little birthday cake in honor of her fifth birthday. And I pretty much told her, you're an old gal now, you're like 35, because five is 35 in dog years. So if that's something you guys wanna see, I'm gonna take you along with me and film as much as I can. So let's go, before we do the haul, we're gonna do all that today, and then we'll do the haul at the end of the day. So Okay guys, so first stop, we are taking these uh, little bubbuses to get their grooming going. Um, like I said, it's Wheezy's birthday. She turned five today and uh, they're not very happy about it because they don't like to be groomed, but they have to be. And um, that's where we're going first. Right, babes? Say hi. Hi. So we're going to try out this new restaurant. What's the name of the restaurant, babes? I think it's called Kristoff's. Kristoff's. And it's his idea because he, where did you hear about this from? When I was on a ski trip. Oh, when okay. The so the guys. Okay. So he pretty much was told about this restaurant by some friends and um, we're going to go ahead and try it out. Um, it's in, it's here in Fort Lauderdale. So we're going to see what it's about and hopefully we like it. And um, we called ahead. Apparently it's, it's it gets booked up, right? It so crowded. it gets crowded. So, um, and I don't think we were able to make reservation. I think it's by walk-in. So we're going to just uh, go and see if we can get um, a seat. And they told us the wait time is like, what, 20, 30 minutes? Something like that. Yeah, so Bubbuses are dropped off. And so now we're going for our brunch. And um, okay, I'll see you guys there. Bye. <laughs> So we made it to the restaurant and it is super crowded and super loud in there. We have to give our names and it is a 30 minute wait. Did he say 30 minutes? He didn't, Not, he didn't really specify, but it might be about 30 minutes wait. And it is people are outside <laughs> waiting. But nevertheless, the, um, this restaurant has how many reviews? It has four and a half stars. It's like a four and a half stars. So we're gonna give it a try. And um, hopefully the food is delicious because one and a half is uh, it's like up there with five, <laughs> like right below the five. So, um, OK, so I will try to film in there. It, it is very, very crowded and very, very loud and noisy. So um, probably just shots of the food and I'll let you know about it. So I got the egg whites with some potato and toast and the egg whites have um, spinach and mushroom and some mozzarella cheese. Babe, what did you get? Uh, pecan. Pecan. Pecan pancakes. Pecan pancakes. And then turkey over here, and turkey bacon and is that sunny side up? Yes. Sunny side up. So that's what we're going to be having and let you know how it uh, tastes. Very good. So we just finished having um, the breakfast and we're going to rate it, Christophe's Cafe. And it was delicious. I, I wouldn't say it was out of this world. It was just, for me, it was normal. What do you think? Uh, I think, I don't think it was as much as everyone. I mean, 
me as what the reviews stated. It was, to me, it was maybe three and a half stars. Three and a half? Four. Yeah, three and a half. And you had you had a good good meal too. You had like um, pancakes and like a pecan pancakes too, like something gourmet. Yeah, but I didn't add the toppings, so maybe that's what makes the pancakes so great, all the extra toppings. I just had it inside the pancakes. So, so you give it a three and a half? Three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. You know, I would say three and a half. I would rate it the same because um, it, uh, it, it reminds me of like, we have a, a restaurant similar near our area called Bagel, Bagel's Cafe or Bagel Time or something like that. And um, it was just about the same. Um, but either way, it was really nice just getting out and trying something new, right? Yep. So should we give it a thumbs up? Thumbs up? Yeah. So we're going to give it a thumbs up. You want to give it a thumbs up, babe? Is that what we're doing? Okay. <laughs> we're giving it a thumbs up. Wait, we're supposed to like what are we thumbs, doing? Up. Oh, thumbs up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we took a detour and came down to the bay and I just wanted to show you guys the scenery down here. Um, it is gorgeous. Over here is the beach area and um, you see the boats out there. Look at that. Yeah, everybody takes advantage of the beautiful weather down here. So I'm just saying hi from the Miami area and uh, we're gonna be going home now. Okay, so I have my board all ready and I'm gonna pick the first bag. This one has been sitting here for quite a while and um, actually they all kind of been sitting here for a little bit. I think even before Christmas, I'm thinking there's a date. Okay, this one is January, January 9th, that's how this one hasn't been sitting here that long. And this one is actually from Cheryl over at Cheryl Collector's Galaxy. Um, so, okay, here's what happened. I had this really pretty little bag charm that it was a dessert charm. And one day I saw her channel and she had um, a lounge white that had all these desserts on it. And I, I said, you know, this really, this pretty bag charm um, would go good with her bag. And I know it would because it complements it. And I didn't have anything that had this, this particular, um, it was like a dessert, uh, the Mickey ice cream cone dessert. I didn't have any bags that had that on there. So I kind of reached out to her and I said, hey, um, I noticed you have a bag that, um, I'm gonna be typing. I'm like, I noticed you had a bag that has this dessert on it. Would you be interested in um, you know, this bag charm? I'll send it over. It's you know nothing in exchange or whatever. So she said, of course, and I sent it and she really liked it. And then she reached back out to me and said, would you like a pin? <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to a pin. I'm like, yes. So she sent me a pin and it says to Dev. Um, and this is what this is. And so Cheryl, I just wanna thank you. Okay, look at this geometric um, card first. How cute. It says, hello. And it says, dear Dev, hello Devani. Thank you so much for thinking of me and gifting me the super cute um, change purse. I have it. I love it so much. I hope you love the pin I have sent, Cheryl. Okay, I'm gonna open it, but I'm gonna love it either way because I am a pin collector. I am a certified pin collector now. And yes, I will love it. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's two pins. Oh, Cheryl, thank you. Okay, but let me open this up first. Oh my goodness, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, yes. I, I love, um, Mulan, look at this pin. Oh. oh, how pretty. Look at the colors. They are so striking. The background is the Emperor's Palace. And then you see, um, yeah, this is Mulan. It's not Ping, it's her as herself. And then you see, um, I think it's two types of the Emperor's Palace here by day and here by night with the fireworks. And she's doing. Um, I think she's doing like a stance of some sort. Like she's, uh, oh, is it a dance that she's doing? Oh, not quite sure, but this is a gorgeous pin. Thank you, Cheryl. Look at the back of it. Oh, 
very pretty. I appreciate this so much. Thank I have you. officially set up our garbage pile right here because I know after all these packages, I'm gonna have garbage. <laughs> so, okay, so this next pin again is from Cheryl and I did see this. This is a pretty one and it is Belle and this is a box lunch pin. Oh, this is a pretty one because look at how beautiful her hair is. It, the locks are just falling down. She has like her signature bun at the top. And I love the navy background compared to her yellow dress. And then you see her flowers around here. This is really pretty, Cheryl. Thank you. I have this one. So this is a really, really pretty one to put on my board. So far, so good. Okay, next up, we're going to grab another package. Okay, so I turned off the neon light and I'm thinking um, maybe when you do a close-up like this, maybe not have it on because it's maybe too bright. I think it looks better for now without it, um, but I will turn it back on at a later point. So this next package is from a pin sale. Okay, and I don't know how long this one has been sitting here, but I was following this live sale called Buddha Belly Pins. I think I showed some of their pins before. So this must have been another sale that um, I probably got on. And, and of course, um, it's been sitting here. So I think in my last, last, last video, I had two pin sales from them. So two weeks had passed. So now this is a, I'm thinking this is like the third sale that I had um, got from them. Don't remember. Anyhow, um, it's a couple pins. It looks like it's a few of them. So this one is from the um, Disney Darlings and I have a few of them already. So I guess I'm starting to collect them all. I'm not sure how many there are out there, but I know they're all princesses and they're the little darlings in their bedroom. Let me go ahead and take this out the package because the plastic is just reflecting the light. So I took it out the package and this one is the little darlings of Cinderella. Look how cute that's her in her bedroom. And um, of course, it's a pin on pin, but look at her with a little um, pastel blue dress, her headdress, and also you see her shoes. Then you see her bedroom there. Um, it's pretty much like a pin on pin. You can see that there, look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out so we can take a look at the back. I took it off and this is the pin itself. And it's actually two pins. You can take this part out and then it'll be just her bedroom. So it is two pins. So today I think I'm doing everything backwards <laughs> because I found their card, Buddha belly pins. So it was in the bottom of the um, bag and yeah, I found it. So that's their card. I will put their link down below in case if you wanna also follow them and see their live sales. Um, they do, I think it's every Sunday. I wanna say every Sunday night they do one. Don't remember guys. Anyhow, this next pin is, and honestly, I don't remember um, getting this one. Uh, it's a Disneyland Paris pin, but it is pretty. So I more than likely did pick it. <laughs> I don't remember picking it, but it is gorgeous. And look, it's Dumbo. He is a favorite, so I do love Dumbo. I just don't remember selecting this pin. Oh, that's not a good sign. Anyhow, it's a Disneyland Paris, and it's all... Um, I want to say like pastel colors look like cotton candy and look at him. It says Dumbo in his, the, his name right here. Look at his ears. It's just a different take on the design of the pin, which is so pretty. So this is the third package that I'm pulling up now. And this one is from Tim Zona. Let's see. Tim Zona. Oh, how cute. I got some stickers. It says Moana adorable oh it's the game boys <laughs> oh my god this is guys i don't know if you're watching i'm not sure how long this has been sitting here we did a trade i think it's a trade we did do a trade i just guys it's, it's been a quite a while that this must have been sitting here Oh my goodness, but you know what? I think a lot of us in the pin industry, we we tend to do that. Like our pins tend to sit here because we have so many other unboxing of pins. Oh, 
Oh, okay. It's okay. I remember now. It's several pins. Okay. 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 I remember it. I'm going to go through them, but these are what I traded him for. And um, let me first show you his enclosement. That was in my package. I got some really cool stickers. Look at that. Epcot with Figment. I am a big Figment fan. Love that. Oh, this is the Disney 50th anniversary sticker. Look at that. Oh, these are going to go really well in my water bottles. I have several water bottles. So, and of course, I just showed that already. The Moana one, which is super cool. I love this one. And I love this card. It's the castle. Look at that. And it says, Devaney, thank you for the trade. Tim and Johnny from the Game Boys. Thank you guys. This is so cool. I love their um I love their card. It's pretty, you know, it reminds me of like Pac-Man. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take these out one by one. And I did trade, I made a couple trades. I had started the ugly sweater collection and I know I made a trade with Sandra from Creatively Sandra and I also made some trades with Tim and Johnny because I'm trying to collect as many as I can and this one is Pascal with the ugly sweater and I think this was before Christmas because now that I remember I, it was around that time so this was like in December okay next up they had an Aladdin and a Jasmine pin look at that this is a couple's pin. Oh my god, this is in time from Valentine. How adorable is this? You can see them up close now. And they have their signature clothing on. You see Jasmine with her beautiful um, teal uh, outfit. And you see Aladdin with his garb. So beautiful. I love this pin. So the next thing that I wanted from them that I traded, and I don't remember what I traded them for, but it was a pin. <laughs> So don't remember okay is of Georgette of this series but I only wanted Georgette and I only wanted the tramp and I don't remember if I got the tramp but I did get this Georgette one and uh, these were from box lunch and they came in the mystery pin box and so I trade they had it so I why not I just said hey let's trade can I get Georgette they were so cool with that so I got her. Okay, so these next two pins are from Tim and Johnny, are from The Little Mermaid, but they're pretty much with Ariel and two of her sisters. I don't know their names well. I know one is Athena, Athena, and Arena or something. <laughs> they're all A's, so I'm not sure which one this is. If you know who this is, please comment below. Let me know because one has blonde hair, one has uh, dark hair. And this is Ariel with one of her sisters. I want to say Atina. Let me know if I'm correct. Um, don't know it. I just know it from the song. <laughs> and then with the song, they show each of the sisters. So I would have to go back and see the song. So let's say this is Atina, and I'm hoping it is. I don't know, but let me know in your comments down below if it is. And this one, I know in the song they say Athena. I know there's some of you guys that know all the sisters' names. Like, I think Johnny from Tim and Johnny knows their names. So, um, well, I don't know. <laughs> so here, this one is, let's say it's Athena. And it's Ariel with her sister, Athena. <laughs> this one is pretty too. And if you notice, the pin is a clamshell shape, just like the other one, which is so pretty. And they both look adorable, especially Ariel. She has that beautiful red flowing hair. She's so pretty. And the red is just so stunning. Okay, and then, um, did I get this from Tim and Johnny? I think this is Buddha, Buddha pins. Oh, I'm making a mess over here. Because I don't remember trading. Yeah, this wasn't from Tim and Johnny. This is from Buddha pins. I had it on the side here. This is from the Turnover Time. And I wanted this one. And this is Tink. And I have a few of these. With the Hourglass. Look at that. Oh, how adorable. But this one I love. I do have a couple Tinkerbell figurines. I'm sorry, Tinkerbell pins. <laughs> and I have a figurine too, but pins. And then look at this one with her flower. And I love the yellow. I, I Yellow is like my favorite color. We're down three bags and we're up three more bags. So this one now is from Alexis Oakley in El Segundo, California. Not sure what this pin this is. Don't know how long it's been sitting here, 
but we're gonna find out now. Um, and usually as I go along, I start to remember the purchase. <laughs> so let me see, this one is, oh, okay, it is a fantasy pin. So more than likely, I got it off of eBay. Okay, yes, I think it was from eBay. And it's of Aurora. She's one of my favorite princesses, I have a few. Um, and this is her card and it says once upon a pin number 1878 Very nice. We hope you love it. That's what they're at saying. We can't wait to work with you again Very cute. So thank you, Alexis And um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this pin. This is a beauty. It's big and um, you see Aurora in her they, I know I, I say traditional garb, but sometimes it's referred to as like a peasant dress. And I know maybe that's not a good term, but this is her in her peasant dress and I love it. Um, but look at this pin. And look at her face. Look at her hair. So cute. Sometimes they make the face a little bit wonky. But this one I think looks pretty cool. Look at her and look at Owl there. And look at the border of roses, like Briar Rose. You see the pink. I don't know what kind of flowers are flower. Not tulips, not sure. And then look at the border. It's the wood and then the background. But I love, look at the bodice and the lace up right here. What a pretty pin. And definitely it is a fantasy pin. And let me read what's upon a dream. Once upon a pin, 878. I'm sorry, 1878. And then limited edition of 50. And it's so pretty because on the back, you see the owl, you see the, these are the forest animals. Look at them. You see a squirrel right there. I think, the, what are those, like birds? I'm not sure, but what a beautiful, beautiful pin. Okay, so we're moving on to now, um, this is the fifth package. And the good thing is some of them didn't have that many. So that made it a lot easier so this one comes from dream 499 pins okay that's another uh live sale that i go on sometimes and um oh they sent me a lot of goodies oh that's so sweet when they send like additional stuff right okay so it's dream 499 pins and yeah they usually send you a ticket like for the next drawing so you can claim that if they call your number and this one says January 7th. So that goes to tell you that this was before January 7th. That's how long it's been sitting here. So Dreams 499 pins. Um, I'll put their link down below so that you can um, click on it if you want to. And if you're into pins, I have to be good about that. Um, sometimes I forget. Uh, anyhow, this they sent me this really pretty pen. I love pens. And is it a pen or a pencil? I wonder if I can write on something really cute with a little mickey head it's a very pretty pastel pin pen <laughs> pen 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 you guys get it well i love it it's almost like a wand okay so what did i get from them okay i think i got one pin and it's the turnover time pin again same thing like the uh tinkerbell one except this one is lumiere beauty and the beast let me show you this one right now. Hold on. I'm trying to get it out of the package. Okay, here we go. So pretty. And this one is adorable. Look at that. It's Lumi Ear. I'm sorry, Lumi Ear. And you see the dishes. And these are the dish cloths, the forks. And I love the turnover time hourglass. Look at that. This one is adorable. So, you see what I mean? Like some of them only have one pin, which is pretty good. And then I had another one, which is from the character warehouse. And I actually had traded, I picked up a few of these and one of them I traded with Sandra, creatively Sandra. And um, I sent it to her already. And it is this Marie pin. And this one is mine. Look how pretty, it's all studded here on the outside. She's such a pretty kitty. Look at her with a little pink bow. I love the little hearts here. Everything feels, it's raised, so it, it has like a, um, a feel to it. Really pretty, and I got this for 
at the character warehouse. Okay, so this is the last package and it's a big one. It's big, but it doesn't feel like it's a lot. So let me see what this one is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, now I think I remember this. I'm trying to remember. I didn't buy this. This was actually gift a gift. I don't remember her name. Hold on one second. Her name is um, Ali. Ali. Okay, Ali. Ali Jim Jimenez. Thank you, Ali. She said she reached out to me and she said she was going to be sending me over a pin set. It's a... Um, I forgot what they call this when it's a bundle of a pin, but it comes in one entire um, set. And I think it's a much older pin and it's from Disneyland. So Ali, I want to just thank you. This is pretty. I saw someone else with this pin. Oh my goodness, it's the princess around Christmas time. I think it was Miss Melissa. Melissa from Pixie Dust and Peaches that had this pin. Oh my goodness. Um, it must be from Disneyland because she's from California and this is Disneyland. But look at this. Oh my God, there's Snow White. There's Ariel, there's Belle, and then there's Rapunzel. I don't, you don't see too much of Rapunzel. Oh my goodness. And what I love about this pen is, is that the only castle? I think that's the only castle, but it's a Christmas pin. And look at the, this is part of the back of the card, so it's not really um, the, the princesses, but this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, she said she was sending something because she noticed that I like princesses. Wow, Ali, thank you. And I got, look, I got a sticker of Belle. Look how pretty she looks here with the book. I love a reader. I love a reader. And then she sent me Tiana. Oh, look how pretty Tiana looks there. She looks gorgeous with her, her, um, her restaurant in the background and her crown and another Aladdin and Jasmine. Look how pretty. That's pretty. And then Rapunzel. So she pretty much sent me all the princess stickers. So Ali, I just want to thank you so much for being a great subscriber and also for reaching out and sending this my way. I would never have thought that I would get this princess set. Um, it's beautiful. And again, it's like a, a Christmas edition because they're all decked out in like Christmas attire. They have their little... Um, what do you call those? Like a little shawl with fur on it. All of them, each of them. Let me show you one more time. She has hers on Rapunzel. Belle has hers on. I forgot what that's called. And then of course there's Ariel, and then we have Snow White. It's like a cape, but it's very Christmassy, very Mrs. Claus. So pretty. So this was not a bad haul today. Usually it's pretty big. So now we're gonna get into the uh, lounge fly. Okay, guys, I am so excited. This, this bag is a beauty. And um, Loungefly is now releasing the Dylan's bags. And they're pretty much like all sequins, all of them. I mean, they had um, Ursula. I did not get Ursula. Um, then they also had Maleficent. I didn't get her either. And then now they had the Evil Queen. And uh, let me just take her out. And then I will tell you. Um, why I got her. Okay, so I already have an Evil Queen bag. But this one, from what I'm understanding, this, these sets are supposed to match the Princess Sequin Edition. And guys, just look. Look at this freaking bag, okay? I mean, she is glam to the T. Look at her eyes. I didn't even get a chance to inspect her, but look, this is next level. Okay, this is like top drawer. Look at her crown. This is an applique, but it is so sequined out. 
I don't know. This this is gorgeous. Her eyes, everything is embroidered. I mean, look at that ombre effect of her makeup. It goes from light purple on down, and then her eyes, everything is chef's kiss. Look at that. Look at the plaque. That plaque alone is like dollars. Just beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh. All right, let me take this out. So yeah, I had to get her. I was just like, she's funny. She's funny. Just get her. I was like, just get her. <laughs> did I need another Evil Queen bag? No. No, I didn't. I absolutely did not. But I wanted her. And then look at this bag. It's Diablo with the box. The box that was supposed to be going with the Huntsman to collect. You know what? Anyhow. This is, so it's all vegan leather back here. Everything else is sequined. Her, you know, the straps are black. The extenders are black. The top is just normal. It's gold hardware. There is nothing else special. Like the zipper pull is nothing else, but it doesn't need it. It does not need it because all of this little embellishments are just gorgeous. The sequin alone is the embellishment. Look at this widow's peak of this. Um, I'm not sure what they call this back in the days when they would wear these, the queens and um, the crowns. I actually had done a little homework on some of the crowns to get an understanding of the different design of the crowns. Like, I can't quote it now, but of Aurora's crown, um, Cinderella's crown, the evil queen's crown, even the uh, queen of hearts, her crown symbolize something back in, in um, history. <laughs> so the, the inside is beautiful. The inside is the um, the poison apple. You see the, the crown and then you see the heart with the um, dagger through it. And then you see the box um, that was supposed to, you know, that was given to the huntsman. But this is beautiful and it has a slit pocket, not a zipper pocket. Wow, wow. <laughs> Okay, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. My God, this is gorgeous. You look at this and you're like, what the heck is that? Is that a bag or is that a piece of art? <laughs> this is a piece of art. Oh. And then of course here, this is also embroidered. And then if this is applique and then in the center, it's embroidered. And that's um, the button to her cloak. Okay, so let me show you what I got to pair with this. Okay, so when I knew I was getting that bag, and um, you know that I do pickups every now and again at the Character Warehouse, I check sporadically because sometimes there's like no new merch there. Um, but when you go in person and you comb the uh, store, you see different things. And I had seen this item for a while, and um, I had even posted it up on the This and Dev pickups. Um, but nobody wanted it and I was like, I wasn't interested either. But then when I was getting that bag and I saw online the back of the bag with Diablo and that box, I was like, wait a minute, I saw that box at Character Warehouse. But by then it was already like two, three weeks later, you know, things don't last at the Character Warehouse. So I, when I got off work, I said, okay, I'm going to go with this straight there because I have to find that box. Because I looked online and it's this box. So I looked online and of course, you know, it's a little bit more pricier online. And I was like, wait, I could have gotten that box for like dirt cheap at the character warehouse. So I went back and I looked and I looked and I was there for like a good 30 minutes looking. And I was just like, wow. Um, and before I asked, I was like, let me just look one more time. And there in the back of the store, very, very back, back, back part by itself um, was the box. And I made a beeline for it. Look at the box. Look at the box. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Now, mind you, I wasn't interested at all before. And then I was just like, oh my God. And basically, it's just a box with um, coasters. What's inside of it is just coasters. And it was the last one. I grabbed it. And I was just like, it was meant for me. Uh, it was for me. And these are the coasters. Look, they're just pretty much of the um, poison apple and um, see? it's just four of them and of course the back they have little um, what do you call those those little uh, so the non-skin things they're so cute so cute 
but the reason why I wanted the box was because I was like, okay, paired together, right? Right? Look at this. I'm like, okay, this is going to be paired together for Halloween. I'm going to do it for Halloween. Yes, I am. Like, oh my gosh. I could not believe I got the box because I was getting hurt. So I am extremely happy. Look at it. This is metal and this is studded. Let me bring it up closer so you can take a look. It's got studs in it, blue studs. Look at that right here, right there, and then right here. And look, look at that. It's like a, the dagger. And then I just love the design. It's all wood. And guys, let me tell you, I just could not believe my, my, my luck that I got it. This is the inside. So, Mr. Huntsman, this is for you. Go into the forest and do what you must do. That's not what she said, but you get it. <laughs> so I am so happy that I got it. And I was like, I was kind of sad because I was like, if I don't get it, I'm going to have to pay full price. And let me show you the how much I paid for it. It was actually pretty pricey when it was in the, in the parks. Um, it was $45 in the parks. And at the character warehouse, I got it for $25, $24.99. So yeah, I would say that um, I was very glad. I was like, I'm gonna get it. So I was so happy to get this box. And so I'm putting it away. Um, it's going to be stored for Halloween. You know how I do like my room and I do the villains and sometimes I have like a gym show with the villains. Well, now this one is gonna go with that bag and I am so stoked. So. Alrighty guys, that is everything for today. <laughs> it was a really good haul. Today was a good day. Um, let me know what did you like? Did you have any favorites with the pins? Are we twinning? We should be twinning by now because I think a lot of us are like twinning on a lot of stuff. Um, and also the bag. Did you guys have a chance to get the bag? I am over the moon with the bag and of course the box. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Press that bell for notifications so you're one of the first to be notified when I post up a new video. And with that said, I am going to talk to you guys later. I'll see you in my next video. But before I leave, make sure you check out my video before this because I am actually doing a small contest for Valentine's Day. And if you consider yourself um, a subscriber to my channel, I encourage you to enter that giveaway. It's a question you just have to answer. And it has been a big, a good turnout. People have been answering. And um, you get a chance to win three prizes. So if you look at that video, I'm going to put the link down below. Um, you get to see the prizes and it's just basically for you guys, my subscribers. So with that said, guys, I'll see you in my next video. It is the beginning of 2024. There's a lot of great content coming up. Um, collabs with besties, more videos. We have a lot in the works coming. So you don't want to miss that, guys. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.